Live from Haiti, CNN Tonight, 10 Eastern. We're talking about blizzard conditions. We're talking about the National Guard being called out. We're talking about not one, but two 50-car pileups. Look, uh, emergency workers have their hands full right now, folks, uh, across the eastern seaboard. In fact, look at this. Look at this tweet we just got. This is Eleanor uh, Norton, Congresswoman, right? Uh, seeking federal funds for D.C. region and metro snow emergencies. So, uh, you know when they start asking for federal funds, that means that they're going to be dealing with this as such. L let me get into that a little more. Here's Jeffrey Caldwell. He's the uh, communications guy for the uh, Virginia Department of Transportation, and he's on the phone with us right now. Uh, Mr. Caldwell, thanks for being with us, sir. Thanks. Glad to have you. How are you guys going to pay for all of this? Well, to be honest with you, we don't know yet. We have spent our allotted snow budget for the year as of about two weeks ago, and we burned through our emergency relief fund. Now it's a matter of continuing our snow removal and figuring out how to pay for it as we finish our fiscal year. How bad is this going to be compared to other emergencies you've dealt with? Well, for us, for a major snowstorm that affects most of the state, it costs us about $10 million a day to do snow removal. We've been looking at four major storms here in the last two weeks, and uh, certainly we're not out of the woods yet for winter this year. Tell him what he's got coming his way there, Chad. Uh, you're the guy looking at the numbers here. Well, Northern Virginia, Mr. Caldwell, is still going to see snow um, and wind today. I mean, any east-west roadway with a north wind doing 50 miles per hour is going to reshut that road, and then you have to plow it again. But uh, take me a little bit through Richmond this morning. I heard from my friend Jimmy Barrett, who does radio in Richmond, that you had 300 crashes during the morning rush hour. What happened? 300? Yes. I actually live in Richmond. We kind of got a surprise storm this morning. We were expecting a little bit of rain overnight, freezing rain, and uh, nothing more than an inch of snow. And all of a sudden, at, at rush hour this morning, we had a whiteout conditions across much of the metro area. We ended up with three to four inches, as I'm sure Jimmy told you. And it came pretty much at the worst time it could possibly come, when, when schools had already brought in some students and folks were on their way to work. So but, things got real slippery real fast. But you got you got to go out there and deal with this stuff. Right? It's not like you can say, folks, we're out of money, we don't have enough cops, we don't have enough... you 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 got to fix the problem now and hope you can pay for it later, right? Absolutely. We're putting the snow crews out 24-7, just as we would for the first snowstorm of the year, and we'll continue to do that regardless of what it costs. And it's going to cost a lot. And it ain't going to get any easier right now. No, when I lived in Richmond, there was a 50-cent toll to go back and forth on 995. And then if you live there, you get little coupons. You only had to pay 8 cents if you were a resident. So maybe they'll have to start charging people to go through. Um, we heard from uh, from Maryland at least something bantered around that they were going to stop mowing the medians to try to save money in the summer. Anything like that being bantered around by you? Well, we will have to cut some non-safety-related maintenance items in order to pay for the, for the snow removal deficit. A lot of times that involves the things off of the hmm. roads themselves. So things like grass cutting, fixing fences, uh, buying traffic cameras and some new technology that we were planning to put in. Those are all candidates, and we haven't made up our mind yet, but uh, we're still doing the best we can. There's an economic side of this story. My thanks to you, Mr. Caldwell, for taking time to take us through it as well. And we'll be checking with other municipalities to see how they're coping on this day. And uh, there's plenty of them. What, what happens to this thing after it gets past New York? Does it go into Maine and uh, New Hampshire and Vermont? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit for the Cape. But I would say maybe four inches for Boston and it just shoots right out the sea. Now, we'll there, out. talk about Hardy. They're used to this. Yeah. And they've been hoping for snow because there are ski resorts there that could use it. And here's the interesting part. I'm getting tweets right now from people in Canada saying, Hey, Rick, enjoying your newscast, but it's bright and sunny up here. <laughs> yeah, probably warmer. This is, uh, what's warmer the, up there. the irony? They're, they're not even getting enough snow for the Olympics. No, this is just part of the nature's stimulus package. You haven't heard, you haven't heard about this one no. yet. We're putting all those snow removal people to work now. <laughs> <laughs> nature's stimulus package. Gotta love it. Thanks, Chad. All right. We're going to take a little break here. We're going to be right back with more on the blizzard of this year. <laughs> this week. <laughs> we'll be right back. When the light comes on, it's coming. Bad boys. This
week, it's the Pet Boys Presidential Tire Event. Buy one tire for as low as $29.99. Buy any two tires, get a free oil change. Buy any three tires and get the fourth tire free. Get a Castrol GTX do-it-yourself oil change, now just $11.99. When the light comes on, just come in. Pet Boys does everything for it. Call 1-800-PET-BOYS or visit PetBoys.com. There's never been a better time to meet that perfect someone, to meet the person you've been waiting for. Announcing the 